Furthermore, we spoke about Russia's role in Syria and Ukraine, we spoke about the Sripal case, and of course, especially Syria is top of our minds today. And it goes without saying that it remains a challenge to find common ground on this. Netherlands has been very clear that we do not accept the use of chemical weapons in any situation. We've all seen the terrible images from Duma. And to be able to find those responsible, an independent and United Nations-led investigation is a necessity. And I expect Russia to cooperate on this, which it to date has not. We will further discuss it, uh, no doubt, uh, during the remainder of our meeting. And at that meeting, we will no doubt discuss quite a number of other subjects. And our approach will always be the quest for truth. The Netherlands' position is self-evident. We've been clear on these issues and will remain so. Today, too, in Moscow. That diplomatic steps would be taken uh, against countries that don't fully cooperate with the investigation. Those reading the newspapers may think that the Cold War is back. I get that question a lot from journalists. If we've got our back to each other, we can't look each other in the eye. So let me once again clearly state, side by side, eye to eye with Minister Lavrov, that my answer to that question is a plain yet, as you say it. And I want to keep it in yet. The Netherlands and Russia are both members of the UN Security Council. And each day, around the horseshoe in New York, we sit facing each other, not with our backs turned. Do we like what we see? Not always. Do we agree? Not always. Do we keep trying? Always. Because we have to keep the channels of communication open, also in these difficult times. This is ultimately in the best interest of both the Netherlands and Russia. Thank you.